Millie Bobby Brown is back in Enola Holmes 2 on Netflix. Let's see if it's worth your time. Hey everybody, my name's Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services just like Netflix. If you guys are like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for more up and coming content. Enola Holmes takes on her first case as a detective, but to unravel the mystery of a missing girl, she needs some help from friends and her brother, Sherlock. I thoroughly did enjoy the first Enola Holmes film, and I was looking forward to the sequel. They only brought back Helena Boehm Carter and Henry Cavill in the film. The other brother, Sam Cafflin, was not within this film. Millie Bobby Brown once again brings that charisma to the film. She is trying to start her own agency. She's taking on her first case by herself. She is very determined, and I like that character in the beginning of the film one that realizes that she does not want to be in the shadow of her brother she wants to do her own thing and so we see her being tested by herself quite often and as to a lot of the development of this and why enola holmes is such a likable character and how determined she is so within like i would say the first half of the film it's really focused on enola holmes and her investigation and how smart she is and how she's able to figure out these clues and get what she needs it has all of the tropes and all of the workings for a great sherlock holmes story one that you're engaged with and wanting to see unravel throughout the film but the film realizes that she is young and she is slowly starting to be independent but she may need some help from people along the way it's just not perfect for her right off the bat and that's where henry cavill comes in and there's a point within the film where he takes over and helps out his sister and there's certain scenes that are just focused on her i think that the film really should have just focused on her and honestly not even had henry cavill in the film i understand that there's moments where she may need help and she is still trying to find her own footing and she's trying to be independent i understand that and she may need some help along the way but there's a certain point where you feel like they're not trusting her as a character the writers within the film and by bringing henry cavill back and having certain scenes of him investigating his own case and how it ties in with enola holmes case and not even having enola holmes within the film it feels like it's not trusting her as the character and we have to rely on sherlock holmes to be here or the film's not going to succeed because i think it would have been successful even with her by herself and her getting in trouble with the law and trying to get out of it i think the film would have just been fine without henry cavill in here even though i do like henry cavill i think he's great as sherlock holmes and i like his addition in that first film i think it should have just solely focused on her and we would have had a stronger rounded out story for enola holmes because millie bobby brown is so good in here she's charismatic she's independent i love how fierce she is in this role and it's an over two hour runtime there's a lot that they could do with this character there are certain scenes where she's getting in trouble in the law and we have to rely on her brother to get her out of there I think the film just should have focused on her. The film continues to be funny. There's a lot of situations that she's put in that's challenging her, seeing how she reacts to certain things. It adds for some humor in here. And how she talks to the camera adds for some fun moments along the way. But with its quick pace and its style, it makes this for an enjoyable film, despite having to rely on Henry Cavill in the middle half of the film to carry certain scenes and not relying on Enola Holmes to be completely involved with in the film. But there is still a lot of development in how she's understanding herself and who she is and how she can move forward without being in the shadow of her brother. I like that focus on the film. And I think the third film probably would have it just by herself as it seems like there might be a spinoff of sorts with Holmes and Watson. So Enola Holmes too, I like the film. I like how she talks to the camera. I like the style, I like the quickness of it. It's fun. I like that it's rompy. I like Enola Holmes as a character. A little less of Henry Cavill and I think it would been a much better film 
So before I give you my score for Enola Holmes 2 on Netflix, make sure to check out my channel here to do movie reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, tier lists, all that fun movie related content that you see on YouTube. I do it all here, so hit that subscribe button and get it all in one spot. And if you'd like to see where Enola Holmes 2 ranks amongst all the other 2022 releases I have seen this year, follow me on Letterboxd and there you can find my ranking. I'm gonna go ahead and give Enola Holmes 2 a B minus. Thank you guys for checking my review for Enola Homes 2 on Netflix. Have you guys seen it by chance? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section down below and stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay calm.